uh, negative gearing changes. So I'll just spend a bit of time on these. It's five dot points there. The first one is that negative gearing will be limited to investments in new housing. So that's like your offer plan apartments or townhouses. They're limiting, you can still negative gear like we do today. So if you go and see something that's um, on there's never been it's been constructed, really constructed, and then they're the ones that will be totally unaffected by the negative gearing. Uh, the reason why it's only limited to new housing is because they want investors to go down that path and look at investing in, in new housing and that housing construction market and all those type of things and leaving existing property alone. And that existing property would be more for the market of those unoccupied people who want to buy a home to live in. So they're really isolating new housing from existing housing and that's the whole thing, and that's the whole that's the whole lead loss in terms of housing affordability. Uh, that's one of, their, you know, one of their policies and why they're doing it. Uh, losses in new investments in existing properties will be quarantined. No, oh, sorry, losses in new investments in existing properties, so you make negative gearing, so your rental expenses are greater than your rental income, and that's on existing property that you do buy after the commencement date. Then those losses then can be offset against other forms of investment income, being, like say, dividends or interest or positive, positively geared rental properties. but the balance of it will be quarantined. So that, what that means is that that loss is deferred and carried forward, and that loss then can only be used when you sell that particular investment and apply, apply that against a capital gain to reduce that capital gain down, and you pay tax on what the difference is. We'll go through an example of how, of how that works. Uh, so what I mean by the third point, yeah, losses are not lost, so I don't think the losses are lost, like I said, they're not quarantined. So that's an important point to note. Um, doesn't apply to existing negative geared arrangements. So if you've got rental properties now or shares that you borrowed against and they're all negative geared, they're totally unaffected by that. So very similar to that decision about do you buy a property pre or post to get the CGT discount? Do you buy a property now pre or post to take advantage of negative gearing? It's um it's a it's a it's a lot it's a lot's going to this. Um, and grandfathering for negative gear investments, yep, already mentioned that already. So all the investments that are currently negative geared are grandfathered and uh, are totally unaffected. Sorry, will there be a date uh, range, like going back in the last 12 months, or will it be from 1st of July? Um, when... There's no legislation, can't say. No, yeah, but when they, if and when they do bring it in, will it yes. be from that particular date? That's or will they backdate it? That's the question that I've had asked before, and I can't answer that one. Because they may say, if they announce it in budget, <coughs> May 2020, that's the first 12 months of 12 months of being in government, maybe even that day. Or will I backdate it to one July 19? Mm. Um, don't know. And what if you buy a house at land value that's uh, basically a demolition job? How's that? <laughs> that's a very good question. Yeah. Again, that's another one that isn't, without the legislation, it's very hard to say. Mm. You've only got top points we can go by. So yeah. that is an example being a scenario of which we'll have to work through legislation to see how that would work if and when that comes through. But um, I can't answer that one. It's just one of those curly questions of which there's a lot of a lot of questions, but not a lot of answers out there at the moment. Yeah. So effective negative current turning negative area. So on the left is the current, on the right is proposed. Uh, the net rental loss on the right hand side is one that is quarantined, so you're paying tax on $100,000, which is your salary and wage income. So the net result here, so you can see by the, um, the line of the eye, you lose your tax refund, in that case there. Very simple example, but again, a very powerful slide. Um, very simple example, $5,700 is pretty much gone out of your pocket from negative gearing. But if you factor that into the sale of property and really combine the two all together, what we're doing is we're assuming a capital gain from the previ previous example, that $500,000 capital gain, and that's sort of down here in the second slide, on the second, second table. We're selling the property after 10 years of ownership. Uh, the negative gearing and tax refund amount remain constant. So what I mean by that is that will be a regular constant refund of $5,700 uh, per year for 10 years, and the negative gear is $15,000 constant for the next 10 years as well and we're assuming a 47% tax rate. So under the current, we get the tax refund over 10 years, 57 grand. Um, the capital gains tax payable is $117,000. So the net amount of cash that you must pay to the Australian Taxation Office is $59,000. Under the proposed, there is no tax refund. 
So that's pretty, pretty clear. The quarantine losses are $150,000, which is $15,000 by 10 years. Uh, the capital gains tax payable is $123,000. So based on that same property, um, under the different tax laws, um, worse off by $70,000 roundabouts. Uh, the way the capital gain is calculated, just for those people who are a bit more technically minded, on the right hand side, under proposed capital gain before discount is 500. We apply the rental loss first before the discount. So we apply the rental loss $150,000 first, multiply it by the discount, and we get to the capital gain. So the overall capital gain isn't that much different. It's actually the overall result over 10 years, and that's really driven by the loss of any tax refund. So it is, again, it's later policy, more taxes coming out from the, yeah, more taxes <coughs> in the investors' pockets.